Hey everybody, I'm Yendi and this is Odyssey with Yendi, Untold Journeys, where I speak with some of my favorite people and have some shape-shifting conversations. Here, they share their stories leaving nuggets of goodness and life lessons to motivate and inspire our own life's journeys. Odyssey with Yendi Untold Journeys is brought to you in partnership with Sagicor. Buying a home? Score big with a Sagicor Bank Mortgage. It's easy. Find your property, apply for your Sagicor Bank Mortgage, get your keys in no time, and you're home! MasterCard. Make online purchases in a safe way with Debit MasterCard. Let the passion of football find you everywhere. MasterCard. Start something priceless. Grab yourself some Appleton and tap into a new world of flavor. Have a snack for this episode? Well, grab your Sun Mix and taste the good life. He's given us the soundtrack to our summers and the dances to open and close our dance floors. But who you will see today is someone I am safe to say you've never seen before. This is the wisdom of Ding Dong. It's the world ding necklace for me. We <laughs> 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 say, look yeah. on global. Woo. Man, ding, what a journey it has been, Star. It has been, it has been. And, and we don't we reach our one day yet either. Yeah. We're, we're far from our one day, you get me? But it's working, it, 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 it a work. It's, it's, it's more than working. Yeah. I want to tell you that, you know, mm -hmm. I know that we're here where we are right now, where, I mean, you've had the summer song after mm -hmm. summer song after, not even just summer song, because, yeah. I mean, it's been hit after, you've had a nice run right mm -hmm. now, but let us go way back, let us go way back to before Ding even did voice a song, yeah. when Ding was just strictly a dancer. How did you end up in the entertainment dancer space in the first place? Um, at the first place... We always go out as youth in Nannyville, mm -hmm. have a crew where we go out with, you know. Me was probably, at that time, probably one of the youngest, not probably, was the youngest within the group at yeah. that time. Because be a big youth, my poor with, <laughs> from them time. Then we usually go like barbecues and fit and them thing. And yeah. the whole vibe was the licklest one of the group and thing, you know, just absorb what are going out in the streets and then. You know, it leave from this to asylum and them place and street parties and thing. Asylum. Yeah, it was just mainly for fun for me, you get me? Mm -hmm. So because I used to play football. See? Oh really? Yeah, I'm a big baller man. Oh, I never me? realized that. Yeah, I'm a big baller, you see me? Oh, we just okay. play for Mount View, Vineyard Town, Santos, all type of thing, Daniel Quarry. You no, see me? No. Yeah, but they have to stop playing ball cause it reached a stage of life now where at that time now, every time I get an injury, mm -hmm. you know, the club them not really have the money like that. So you have the money have come out of your own pocket for take care mm -hmm. of yourself and thing and you know me have to ask you though what position you did play. Yeah, me, play, me can't go and play everything unless uh, uh, except from goalkeeping. You know, say when them say you play everything, it mean you know say them say you're not really a baller. No, ask anybody about me, man. Really? No, ask anybody at all about me. Uh, striker, midfield, striker, midfield, defense, anything at right all. Right wing, right back, left wing, left back, anyway. <laughs> The only thing about do professionally in our game is, is goalkeeping. Mad. Yeah, but but. And you know, so you could have do that too, cause you're tall. Yeah, me can't. But I mean, it 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 came to a thing where I had to have money. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the clubs them never did a pay any money at the time and yeah. thing. You know what I mean? And then we used to go out and party and go go see all the giants them out there dance all the, all the time. And I remember the last year of football, I say. I don't play no more football. I'm going to dance in straight. And I get cuss out still and <laughs> say, what you do if you know what you do, go find something to do or whatever. And, you know, I stick with it still. Mm -hmm. You see me? I, I stuck with it and... I say so no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, man, I want to tell you, you're supposed to sit down sometimes and say, what a good thing I did stick with it. Because yes, who would have thought would that have it would thought. have carried... Or, but did you see that? Did you see where it could carry you? Um, I only... I, I, because I always pay respect to a lot of people, mm -hmm. like what I said do it before. And at that time, when I just go into the dancing thing, it was Bogle at mm -hmm. that time. And 
you usually have a youth name broke up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually danced on a town. In in did have one of the one of the, one of a high buzz yeah, at yeah. that time. And he got signed to Tamil figure at that time. Usually have him second with him flavor flavor and then after that bogle them dance all scene it bogle them and everything and Janai them and Janai mm -hmm. got signed to 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 shocking vibes at the time and everything. But that's right, yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? And I was like, okay, everybody I say, yo, Dinga can do it and Dinga can do it or whatever the case. And I was never the type of kid for be like, okay, I'm going to be a part of that group or I'm going to be a part of right. that. Right. I always want to create my own thing mm -hmm. from day one. And and I tell my family them, I say, yo, I'm a coach, them come on my yard the next season and everybody come for me like, what go on? Like, for the ball. Yeah, for, mm -hmm. like, what go on? The team, <laughs> you see me? <laughs> and I was like, yo, that's it. It's just dancing straight. And I just, I just, I never do nothing at all for fail. If I, if I, if I Ooh. think I go and fail, I know about I get into it. Ooh. I just don't bother do it. If I feel like, but me as a competitor, I even compete with myself. So once yeah. I put myself to say, me I go do this, me now have no plan B. But isn't that your biggest and only competition when you think about it? Yourself? Yes, if, if you really think about it, yeah. because I tell people this all the time, you don't need somebody's story to encourage you to do good for yourself. Mm. I don't need nobody's story for say, Jano, you know, say if you go do this to thing. Nah, that's why sometimes I don't even tell people my story. Mm. You know what I mean? I you just love people to them assumption and feel like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and sometimes if you break down my story to people, they'll be like, Yo, me never know. Then me can't go do it. Why you wait until that for think you can't go do it? You know what I mean? So for me, it's just me. Yeah. You get to me and say, my drive and what I think I want out of life. Yeah. You see what I mean? Where did Ding Dong come from? The word Ding Dong or the name Ding the Dong? The name Ding Dong, Mr. Otty. Because the, the, the that name. don't have nothing to do with your actual <laughs> name. <laughs> no, Ding Dong, my father did name Ding Dong. Oh. My father, yes. So it's the only thing I get from my father, apart from contribution to my life in terms of, you see me, one of the greatest thing I got, his nickname, you know what I mean? His name was Aladdin Ding Dong. Oh. And, and I got that name before I even born. From in a belly, me have that name, the little ding in a belly and Ding Dong till my born, you know what I mean? So I just, Bad. but my father, a gangster. Ah. Father a bad man, you see me? So my mm -hmm. father was killed when I was like two years old. So that even make it, Really? Yeah, make it even easier for the name stick for me because basically I probably the only thing when I leave. Like him legacy? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Knowing that and knowing his history, was mm -hmm. it so important to you just to make sure you never go down the same path? At a younger stage, he never did connect to me that way. Because yeah. I was just a youth, you know, living. You see, but everything was accessible. Right, right. All of his... Links. It was accessible because they were there, you get me? But yeah. um, I remember, not clearly, but I remember when I went to a funeral and my father headstone had, had an in loving memory of Ding Dong, Aladdin. Mm. You get me? Yeah. And I was like, yo, what if my kids or my son or one of my son come and come sing? in loving memory again of Ding Dong mm -hmm. and him grandfather mm -hmm. are the same thing. What kind of example me would have set for my son yes. after, you know what I mean? Yes, so ding. I was like, yo, I'm going to take this name, even though a lot of people love him still, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they don't know the world where him choose. You have, to have people who are going to hate it no matter yeah. what. So I was like, all right, I'm going to take this name and make it be a household name. Love yeah. that. Yeah. A word. Yeah. Well, it's a rebranding. Yes. Reshifting. I know I'm proud. No, anyway, I'm the I'm after proud. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I love how you lit up with that. Yes. Because it's a funny thing that I think unless you are in the position you can't understand, when yeah. you lose a parent when you are young. True. It's almost like you live your life trying to, like you live your life wondering if they're proud. And if you're making them proud and if mm -hmm. they feel good, because they can never turn on it and say, yo, son, you know, say, yeah, yeah do the things still. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, is, is not, what you would have to understand is not pressure to make a family member proud or your mm. mother. It, 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 because if you, if, you, if you put that mindset, 
in order to you're not going to live it show you a word. if if you feel like you have to go live for make the person the pro that you are to you're not going to live the true you because you're just going to live the, 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 the conception of life as that person wants to see you a yes word. once you live and you make yourself proud like you the most you can do in is be like okay i did my best you know what i mean so once you make yourself proud and you proud of whatever decisions you make in life hope that other people is proud for you because of that not because of what they want you to be you know what i mean and here endeth the reading <laughs> Mr. Ding is a whole <laughs> word that's enough <laughs> no no but let me tell yeah. you something it is because it's something that has a lot of people even myself, mm -hmm. I will not lie, in a chokehold. Yeah. So you're spot on. That's a, yes. that's, that's a big statement. Mm -hmm. Big statement. You have, you have to have that mindset. Uh, you know, I mean, you have to have that mindset. And because a lot of people, I know a lot of youths, a lot of people come under pressure because of that same thing. Yeah. And they don't get to live the truth them. <sighs> Who is, is the true you? Me, what I'm, is I'm, What are you like outside of this? Outside of the... <laughs> the Dancing, the necklace, the uh, all right. <laughs> Sometimes, who are yo, you? I, like weird enough, I would like to stay home most times. Yeah. And I, it, Cause I'm a workaholic. Mm -hmm. You get me? So sometimes I would try to brainstorm what's the next move, what going make you stay relevant for the next two three years. And every year you approach that with a different perspective as something new doing. I, I approach every year as a new me, a new artist, a new dancer, a new go-getter, something like mm. new, you know what I mean? So I don't live within the past, but I stay to myself sometimes and I try to brainstorm what I'm going to do. I watch every, every show up on TV, show makes sense and comedy and them thing and, you know, try to chill out with, 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 with with, with, with my friend them and thing, mm -hmm. kick back with my wife and I watch the out hey. and then I, yeah. hey. I watch every, <laughs> every show we come on and we talk about it and we argue about the character them and we, okay. you understand? You know so, I'm going to ask, what yeah. is the show that she make you watch that you cannot stand it? Tell me right now. The thing is, is, yo, it, no, <laughs> all right. I never used to watch series. Right. I never used to watch series. I was like, yo, when me I sit down and watch, one something like <laughs> four or five days behind one another. And, and, and with she, when she watched series, she just watch it one time and done. That's and sometimes the way to do it. Binge the early morning yes, and man. everything. You know what I mean? But I get for love series now. Sometimes I even watching a regular show, one and a half hour, two hours, and it don't even feel normal. Because you want because the series. Because I use the series <laughs> now. It's you true. get me? I yeah. know the way. Yeah. Do you watch Real Housewives? No, sometimes me have a, me have a company already. <laughs> yeah, no, remember, you know, you Man see, say yo. no, you know, we have to be real, is, is, is your wife, because she go and watch things where she don't like with you, because see, you are watching. Look so at you. Is is not, you have a sister, of course, me watch it with her, you know, but certain in-depth intake where she have upon it, me not like, have it, because no. a woman thing that and. <laughs> Uh, but it, 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 I, I want teaching it too. Sometimes them things they teach in the world to both women. I but you no, it's not me? true. Actually, probably too much. Yeah, <laughs> teach a whole it both women, yeah. and you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, look at it. you. I, I I like the lessons in compromise yeah, and not yeah, being you know so masculine that you can't just level with your wife. Oh, yeah, Same of way. Of course, then he's a best friend. So at the end of the day. Aye. You're supposed to be open for talk about anything with a best friend. Same right? way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say, oh, it's the blush for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, in the chilling and being a homebody, some people mm. may know, I hear one and two people I try to draw you out from where they still, so they're looking for a clash in this regard. And it's not the type of clash that you'd be accustomed to yeah. in your music fraternity. Yeah. But people want cook off and these things because apparently oh, Ding is the chef about the place. That's all. You see, the thing is with, with these people you now, mm -hmm. and some of my friend them too, mm -hmm. I'm bridging them, is sometimes I, I like meals that people never even did know exist. Like what? And sometimes, like, all right, say so for instance, Aki and Franks, chicken back and Aki, are 
Macrillan and, and Frank, sir. Macrillan and Frank? Yeah, when you steam swim around with corn in it and <laughs> like different things. You get to me and say, it's like, but I grew up on these dishes. Mm -hmm. I grew up Come on up these with meals. combinations. Yes, because mm -hmm. how I, I, I grew up is where when my grandmother and my aunt cooking food or whatever the case, because a lot of us in the house, yeah. they have to do what they have to do to stretch, stretch the food. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they always have a whole heap of combination. And you can't say you can't consume the food there. You have to do it. You know what I mean? Right. It's only when I reach certain age now, like, I'll be like, yo, if you ever cook pork, tell me so I can just go slow on a little piece of other meat or something <laughs> else. And yeah. yeah, you understand, but at that time, you have to do it. I say, say you get the understand for taste how other food tastes, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I grew up with it. So when I'm doing it now, and people be like, what? I never knew. I was like, are you living under a rock? <laughs> or so, you understand? Yeah, I never yeah, tried yeah. this yet, but <laughs> because I grew up on it still, you get me? So what? that is why enough of them wanna know why I feel like, okay, them can't, you know what I mean? But, but it's them all know. in, yeah, them don't know. It's all in though? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Skills, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> yeah. So we have the dancing, we have yes. the chefing, but I want you to tell me about something about you that people would least expect. What is the thing that people sit down and say, there is no way Ding Dong can do that or he does that, him yeah. enjoy that? What's that thing about you? Well, I don't even know, like, because I, 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 I don't even start enjoy life or I think I should enjoy life. Mm. Merely because I am not comfortable with where I'm at. I hear that. You understand what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it's a very tricky statement still. Yeah. Coming from a lot of people. Yeah. Because a man might see Ding Dong or, or consider himself or herself less right. than Ding Dong to where Ding Dong is. And they're going to be like, oh, is he not comfortable with where he at? He's so ungrateful and that. But I am the most grateful person in yeah. life. I give God thanks for every single thing in life. Yeah. And I appreciate everything that there is that happened for me over the years. Yeah. I do. But me saying I'm not comfortable, I don't allow myself to be comfortable. Uh, so that's why, because when you get comfortable in anything at all, get complacent. You, you go and, get, and then you go and lapse. If you have a relationship, and a lot of people, both sides, male and female, they get comfortable in the relationship, so they don't think they have to do certain things again to impress the other half or to make the other half smile or blush or whatever because they feel like, okay, I have this person now. You get comfortable, so you're good. Word. And like when you just have to look somebody, you put out everything. When you get the person, psh, just like a, a, a woman, she do everything and then when time them and the person, they and live, it's like, shh, yeah, I wonder what go on. You know what I mean? I don't want, when I get comfortable with something, it's going to mean like, okay, I'm all right now. My, 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 my grinding skills rest now. My, my hustling skills rest now. And I never rest. You know what I mean? I never rest. I never put myself in that place to get comfortable. Well, Nave, is a preacher. Come if I preach today. No, but just, it's life. We just, you see me, you ask about me. So Let me tell you something. I tell you about me. But that yeah, is man. an entire... Because mm -hmm. it's actually the thing that stops people from getting to ultimately where they could get. Yes. You're right. You always always right. try to do more. Always try to do more. And that's just me. I always try to do more. I always mm -hmm. just want to do. If, 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 if I feel like I'm not doing enough, I, I get miserable. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should be doing more. You know what I mean? So I just keep myself and my mind frame in that. And I don't get to really enjoy life like I should. Mm. Like, I, I like going out, like, to the resorts, them now, yeah. to chill, yeah. you know? Family time, and wife, take vacations now and see other places. I never even used to do that. Yeah. When I even travel to the shows and such, I ask my friend them, I mm. even come out of the hotel room. <laughs> Unless yeah. I go up on the mall or yeah. where I got a show or a sound check. You know what I mean? So now I try to take time for and I enjoy doing those things. Like nice. I find myself with so much joy doing those things. Nice. You know what I mean? And I was like, yo, you should do things like this more often. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until it's too late when it, you know? Don't but, wait until it's too late. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. When did you realize that, you know, you have your dancing crew, things are mm -hmm. off and popping, like 
things are really happening. The ravers are the ravers. Ding dong on the ravers is a thing. Mm -hmm. But when did you realize that you wanted to get behind the microphone and actually start making music? Um, I get to understand. And sometimes I don't like to talk everything. No, but we're going to talk today. No, no, no. Not, not in terms. I can't <laughs> let out everything. All right. Because <laughs> then my feel going flood up now. You know what I mean? The in secrets, which sometimes I it can good because, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> um, I get to understand what it is with music and dancing. Mm. Um, I've been in it so long. I am not just a typical dancer that, 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 that's just going go out every night and just dance, dance, dance and come in back and be like, yo, see me out do them boys over this side. Yo, that's not me. Mm -hmm. I, I try to, 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 to get a bigger picture. In, in which I can market myself and create things for me and people around me. Now, in order for me to do that, I had to sing my songs. Right. I can big up to a lot of artists that did it. Right. You know, that, that sing about song, songs about dancers and everything, about even myself too as right. well. And back then, like Elephant Man and mm -hmm. Voice Mail, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, respect to those people, yeah. the man they, isn't me? But the, when them man they sing about a dancer, but then I call his name or whatever in a song, it gives a dancer a structure in mm -hmm. certain ways, you know what I mean? Right. People know who this person singing about, all right, you know what I mean? But when it reach that stage, what is it they're going to do next? Right. Right. You know what I mean? To, to, to create revenue for yourself as a dancer. You know what I mean? Because I am not the Andy No type of guy. I'm not going to go to an artist and be like, yeah, you call me name and I sang every week. You see me if you give me a thing. No, 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 no. I just wanted to put me on a platform so I will find a way to make me. Now when I get on that stage now, I'll be like, yo, probably have to try to sing a song for yourself. You know what I mean? And so it come out. You know what I mean? So, um... When I did, I don't remember which one I did first, Badman Forward? Badman Forward, I think. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, Danny Champagne yeah, was yeah. the one who, big up to Danny Champagne, rest in peace. He was the one, if anybody knows Danny Champagne, his kids know, salute. He might have stood in house. Anybody come in house. It could have be a carpenter, doctor, lawyer, anything, you have to go in the studio. I have to record something. Can really? Anybody at all. Oh, Danny, that's really that's, cool. That's, that's just a love for Danny Champagne and for the music and people talent, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and I'm going to the studio then, I, I still even feel like that, like, you know what I mean? And because the dancing was my thing. Passa Passa, Dirty Fridays, Gabba Sundays, Day Rave, that's my thing. The streets, you know what I mean? I did Badman Forward. Yeah. And if you notice, Badman Fad is probably one of the most repetitive songs in the world. But and that's what makes it catchy. Exactly, but it is also a classic song. Yeah. It is also an it song. You know what I mean? And when I did that, I still never take music serious. But, but I, I love the attention doing a song brought to me. Mm, okay. And I'm singing about my own dance. So when somebody says, who be la dance there? Where you sing about? I mean, be it, man. You sing it? Wow, so we call that, I call that pot and spoon. Can mm -hmm. you get the song and the dance for yourself, mm -hmm. for you sing, you know what I mean? So I did like that. And, and I was like, okay, here we go on. I did Deep Again Now with, with Elephant Man and Thing. Right. And when I did Deep Again Now, I think um, Richie Feelings said, yo, but dog, you go hard. <laughs> Ellie, have to watch himself for the song, you go hard for the song, I say. I can't be nobody I guess so. You know what I mean? Come here, say, Ellie, you go hard with Ellie on a song. Remember, I, I, I have no studio training. Right. I have no vocal training. I, I don't even know about keys or melodies or anything at all. Right. I just... Vibes. You know what I mean? <laughs> and when him tell me that, I was like, okay. You know? And a couple other people tell me to and say, yo, you go hard on a song and a ding, da, 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 da. And it was big production for Steven too as well. And I was like, okay, good. You know? I was there with Bravo too and Bravo. Mm -hmm. I said, yo, yeah, go on. You know, Bravo, I'm, I'm a G like. Eerie, yeah. eerie. 
<laughs> bone fry, brother. You see me, so from day one, the man the day and see it and see the growth. So I was yeah. like, yo, me, I'm gonna just do music, but me not leave out my dancing. Same way. And when I start doing the music, you now at one point I get caught up in just doing music because. Mm. And, and, and these are some of the topics where I don't even like talk about neither because I get a whole heap of fight. Right. I get a whole heap of fight. A whole heap of fight from really? artists in the industry. Big artists in the industry because they never want to see a dancer come turn an artist that way because they feel like the business are going to open up so anybody can come sing a song. I'm boss as an artist and feel like they're my artist. And now nobody can stop it now. But you say, but what we have to you know bear in mean? mind is that we're talking about well, 15 years ago, to almost 20 years no, ago. No, so that about probably three years ago. I don't think that's so no. uh, uh, oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> no, but yeah. It's a different space, yeah, though, yeah, but, yeah, we, but with, with, with social media now, it's a different it's, space. Yo, I tell, yeah. I tell somebody this other day, say, if I ever didn't know, say, being an artist, it's so easy. I wait until now for be an artist. Right. Because it's way easier now to be a, yo, I got fight like I eat. But this is why you have the work where, ethic you have. Yes, so. but, but I, I just never go for lose. Same way. And like mm -hmm. I would be in parties more time and people send content selectors to stop playing my songs. And I stand up there and watch everything and I was like, God no. When a man should answer, all right, well, happy for that little youth, I come mm. from the ghetto to a ghetto, I come from, but Make because you know, underneath certain, certain people branch, you know, underneath, oh, the money, I'm, a, I'm a this, I'm a general this, I'm a general that, I'm a, this, I'm a, that, I'm a, this, I'm a, this, I'm a, man feel like, okay, the youth don't forget no strength at all in the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And as a dancer, then they just want me to just dance. Right. And I was like, yo, I want to evolve. I just, don't where I go go in the dance, and then I was traveling, with Berry Salmon one day, I book him up at the airport. Mm. Salute Mr. Berry's cousin. He probably not even remember saying he said this to me. Mm. But sometimes there are certain things you, you carry with you. Yeah. And Berry said to me, say, youth, you're a bad, bad dancer. You're a baddest thing I say. But after a while, your bone never will get old and you can't dance as you're supposed to dance. But your voice are going always dead. So put your voice on plastic. Berry's. And I just say, yo. I do this music, yeah. You know, and I, and, I, and I train myself, you know, practice day in, day out until I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's been real. <laughs> Yo, what yeah, a thing, though, star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. when you stop and you think about it, when, you, when everything is off, mm -hmm. the sound, the lights, the glitz, the glamour, mm -hmm. and you sit down on your own mm -hmm. and you think about it, you don't feel good in yourself. Yeah, but I, 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 don't, I, I don't allow myself to, to, to feel so yeah. overwhelmed by whatever it is. Yeah. I, I, if, if, if this hit, I'll be like, oh, it's a massive hit. Of course, you're going to feel good when your song play and you see an entire dance, an entire country, people from all over the world are dance to something where you create. Yeah. At first, it used to get me like, yo, <laughs> of the whole world. You know what I mean? Now, to me, now is like, all right, them I do that now. What next me I forgot to make them do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because when you're here, there's, the, yo, if, if, if you just leave, you're going to just come take time, come here. Mm -hmm. So you have to always think as to what will be the next thing for Canada. Fair you know what I mean? So, Let's yeah. talk about you. Mm -hmm. In a role that you don't often speak about, but a yeah. role that I know you take very seriously. Mm -hmm. And this is as a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. All right, sometimes, uh, sometimes I, I don't think I get to be the father where I should be just because my kids them don't grow up with in me. Here. Yeah, yeah. They don't grow up in Jamaica, they grow up in the States and they, and they live with their mothers. You know what I mean? I mean, the mother's doing a great job, um, you know? Um, the mother's doing what they have to do. I got two boys, yeah. you know what I mean? But every boy baby or, or every boy needs a father a strong father figure in helping them, raising them and molding them into a man. Yes. Um, mothers do their best, their entire best, and you cannot take nothing short from that. 
but sometimes not every mother knows how to show tough love. And Especially every mother a boy can't father. That's why the roles you know exist. I mean? So that's yeah. why, yes. Yeah, so that's why, and at sometimes too, you cannot blame the mothers entirely because they might raise a child. But I, I, I feel short of that because they don't grow with me. Yeah. But I, I keep my communication with them yeah. right through. I do everything I'm supposed to do for them in term financially. Everything. And sometimes you get to understand that financial aspect of raising a child is not just it. You know what I mean? You have to be apartheid with them. And sometimes my kids them getting our age you now where they probably feel like they're a big man and them think they so it rare them 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 start doing now because I beat it in them head and be like they will take up them phone and call now and be like daddy will go on and me and them reason and everything will have that relationship and if you see me and them you either think I'm a little brother them or, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. I keep, and I, and I don't hide nothing at all from them. I talk to them straight up, straight Same and plain, because at the end of the day, I want them to feel comfortable talking to me about anything. Same way. But I am the aggressor to them too at times, because when the mothers them call me, I want you to talk to him, you know? Yeah. I want you to talk to your child, because I can't talk to him. Now nah, listen, I then. I have to come on the phone, you know? I can't come on the phone, like, you know what I mean? So sometimes, <laughs> A child might feel like, oh, I don't want to talk to my father because I, I know him going to come with that thing. But when they do good, I commend them, applaud them, award them, everything. But you have to, at times, be strong for a boy picnic because yo, the influence is out there so strong now. And then now, sometimes the mothers them have to work to at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And then them get caught up in a whole different room. Remember, it's a social social media and, and all type of things where they can talk to other people and influence is strong out there. You know? So if, if, if you don't try to beat it in them, for people when they get in the youth yet, you don't have to try, when they do get in the youth, you don't know, beat discipline in them, not beat them literally with belt and no. in them brain, like, when they understand discipline. Absolutely. Definitely, because when they get to a certain age, I don't think you can bend the tree again. No, you, know you have mean? to use the formative years to create yes, the structure create that they that. need. Yes, and, and, and what we have to understand too, because me are not idiot, you know what I mean? Me are not idiot and we are not ignorant to certain things where if, if my um, kid's mother have somebody make that person be res responsible enough to help raise that child. Not, not saying that I'm asking for no help for raise my no, child. No, but to integrate you know what I mean? in the world. Just like, yeah. oh, if my kids are come around me, my wife's strong with me and my kids. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's, it's just a thing because you cannot do it by yourself. You know what I mean? Especially if you have boy, if you have boy babies. You know what I mean? It's not much easier with the girls, let me tell you yeah, straight. Girl, girl. <laughs> but, but the thing is now, uh -huh. men morally suffer upon upon, upon daughters. Mm -hmm. So that is where Mothers comes in play. I'm very excited to see yes, what's going to happen the day you know, get a daughter. <laughs> yeah, because the mothers know, and she, I don't know, it's a, it's a very iffy thing with the mothers, but you don't know with mothers and, and, and them you know sons. I mean, but it works it work. with everybody. There's a reason why we are created where both are involved in the dynamic. Exactly. Everybody brings what they need to bring to the table. Yes, and it's supposed yes. to be a unified mission. And I think so too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, if I were to ask you for your the three life hacks that you would use or advise people, like what are the three things for you as Ding that you say, yo, if you follow these three things, you're supposed to all right in a life. Now for your Sajikor life hacks. Um, I, I would say have a plan. Ooh. Sometimes not everything go according to plan. We know that. Right. But it's good to have a plan. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, have a him, plan him falls under the same thing. Yeah. And you work, you work tirelessly to that aim with the intentions of accepting or listening good and bad criticism. And, and then sometimes too, you have to be strong on what you believe in. Because sometimes somebody might not see your the vision, vision until it comes to play 
and you be like, okay, remember the doubt it first, but this is what I try to tell you. You know what I mean? And you have to just be able to not giving up on your dreams. It's like, don't make nobody discourage you from what you want. Anything at all where you want in life is not physical enough. What you achieve is physical, like, you get this because you do this. You open up a, 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 a company and you get bag of money because you open up the company. You're on the wrist to open up the company. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, don't make nobody deter you or stray your mind from what you really believed in. Just go with it with everything. If you go with it with everything and it fail, all right, cool, that failed. It never but you worked. tried. But you tried and you yeah. do everything at all. Let me try something else. You know what I mean? And you just go, you just keep going. You know what I mean? Hopefully you'll get the support from the people and we really want to support you. And support is not something we're supposed to ask for. That is why I tell people, don't think that nobody at all in this world, whether artists, anything at all, we are the business person, nobody at all in this world is obligated to you to support you or anything. Nobody is obligated to you, not even your parents once you're over 18. You understand? So nobody is obligated to you. Whenever you get the support, people support you for you and you get good support. Don't ask people for support. You will get it if it's real. You know what I mean? I keep going. No. <laughs> That's just my basic views to life. Ding. Yeah. You. Have a little game to play with you. Yeah. Actually, your little friend that you were reasoning with before, yeah, my yeah, daughter yeah, yeah, come yeah, up yeah, with yeah, the yeah. game still. Yeah. So, oh, if you look here, she actually wrote on the cup. <laughs> she said, don't look. Yeah. Pick one each turn, and most of all, have, have fun. fun from okay. Izzy. Oh, from Izzy. <laughs> all right. And she's so smart. She's oh, so smart. Thank yes. you. <laughs> she's nice, but yes. I'm lie. So, here's mm -hmm. what we're going to do, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Because I think it's only fitting and it's only right. Yeah. You have to pick out one of these, mm -hmm. as Izzy said. Yes. When you see what is on the paper, you yes. have to demonstrate it. When you demonstrate it, I have to guess what you are demonstrating. Now, to make okay. it sound a little less complicated, these are all dance moves. Okay. But I never saw yeah, them. Yeah, but okay. This is the MasterCard Priceless Moment. I have no idea what is in here. All right. So you do one, then I do one, right? All right. Okay. Oh my God, so it's fine. <laughs> Good job, Izzy. Go for them, Izzy. <laughs> oh, am I right. peeking? <laughs> okay, so. Oh, he's um, ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, Della move. Ah, <laughs> come and say, because I said. Easy you because said I said first. Yeah, I said. Whatever you say. All right. I don't even start with the dance good. All right. From you go so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. Yeah. What she know about Della move? At that move, I know. Yeah. This one she worked out. <laughs> oh, of course I would get this. Yeah. Of course. All right. This is so easy. In 0.5 seconds. Yeah. Oh, fling. <laughs> Intro of love. Dig up Cool Rivers. <laughs> yeah, Cool Rivers were that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Is he go for the, oh, is he a dancer? Should oh, you know. Dancer. Yes, man. Should have a choice. <laughs> ah, Jesus. So, all right. <laughs> Hold on. Try to so remember how that one go? No, I can't do it in a sense. It's like, <laughs> I'm trying to make it hard for you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you, you. You get it? Wine? No, oh, you yeah, see do. it? Oh, dirt bones. Ah. <laughs> okay. Is this give me? Yes. <laughs> me glad we never get it. <laughs> that more you know. Yes. Big up Tyreek too. Is it me? Big up you. No, it's how I keep getting these ones. Yeah. <sighs> oh, flare, flare, flare. <laughs> yeah, but that's easy favorite one, Tina. No, that's just that you a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> Silent, big up. Big up to the dancer. I, I, love, I like how you big up everybody. It's so yeah, nice. Yeah, it's, it's good to acknowledge, to acknowledge the people. Yeah. Because guess what? You see, the reason why I do things like these is because I am a dancer myself. Yeah. And that is why I create ravers. 
I create ravers to give them a platform for themselves. So if you notice, you can, you can, you can single-handedly call out every ravers by them name. That's Adisha, right. Adisha, Cool, Bravo, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, 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 I hope they come up with a dance, I sing about it, give them the platform, and they have a name for themselves. Because you know what it did for you. Exactly. Same way, so. so anytime I do nothing for no other dancers or anything at all, mm -hmm. I try to give them that recognition. I Just to say, because sometimes you just say anything in an interview goes a far away. That's right. You know what I mean? So I always, you know Same what I mean? Same way, so. Yeah. This, this is it? Uh, let me see. <laughs> da, 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 da. Twist? Da, da. No. Is it Ska? Ah. <laughs> that is not it. That is not it. Uh, look, this yeah. is Ska. You have to go so. They're not the same thing, me do. No, you go so. No, I <laughs> never do that. <laughs> Remember, say, you are going to run set. back the tape. Yeah, run back the tape. I never do that. At this, me do. Run back the tape in slow motion. And you're going to sing the You are going to see her. No, you are going to see her, amigo. Yeah. Oh, that was so Siva for true. Yeah, that is what you go. I go. Oh, one of my favorite. Okay. Oh, no, Thief. But anyway, you're going to get this. I knew that the video would again. Vibes. World dance, I did. Yeah, yeah. Big up Boga. Big up World the Ding. King. A joke. Yeah. Hey. I have to big up, you know, I say Boga like the man where set it. He's like the whole founding whole. father of it all, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he set it so the whole of we can, you know, they are sorry. So my respect goes to Father Boga. Rest in peace all the while, you know, our kinder. The last thing I want to ask you mm -hmm. is. If you could say anything mm -hmm. to a two-year-old Kemar. Me, if I could have said something to a two-year-old. What two -year -old? would you say to the two-year-old whose life changed significantly based mm -hmm. on life occurrences? Mm -hmm. But knowing what you know now about where you are in life, what would you say to your two-year-old self? To my two-year-old The self. thing that you wish you knew then that you now know. Ah, what me that tell myself at two years old? Now being the person that I am. Yeah. Just follow the same part where you're supposed to follow. Don't go left, don't go right. Just follow the same part. Just keep your mind. It'll go all right. Mm, it'll you go all right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll go all right. It'll go all right. What do you say to the youngster who is watching this now, who is sitting down in a garrison somewhere, who has very big dreams for himself or for herself Jesus. and for their life? What do you say to them? To, to the garrison youth them. Yeah. And this is such a thing. Don't feel like Whatever goes on the garrison, or garrison life is nice, you know. Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. And 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 a lot of people that are youth try to, or they tend to, have the excuse that is, oh, is where I come from. That's why. Oh, it's because I live here, so why I can't this? Even though sometimes it plays such an hard part, pun. Right. Inner city youths go in certain places to try to get jobs. Yeah. Because once they give their address, Dress. it's like, yo, because that is just the perception of thinking that people have towards ghetto youths yeah. and things. But you have to understand you have a role within your life to change the whole narrative of how people think of ghetto people. Now, if you give them the same reason as to why they wouldn't want you around, then they're going to continue to see you and the people after you in the same light. I pray to God that a lot of corporate entities or a lot of business heads or a lot of people that, that, is, that, that is trying to find youths and talents can look to any ghetto, close their eyes and look to any ghetto and know that they get somebody that can represent their brand respectfully yes. and represent in a right way, just because of the mindset we are gonna have. Don't make it be because of where you're coming from, you feel like you cannot exceed to certain levels in life. And, and that is what holding us back sometimes as garrison youth. And you know why to a big thing is? Because they don't see anything outside of the garrison. Yes, yes. Like they don't see anything, it's the realest 
thing I can say, they don't say anything outside of the garrison. It's just like if I live in the garrison all my life, and I wake up in the morning and I say, a man go buy a 20 bag, and a man go buy a special this, and a man go buy a, 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 a drink this, and we sit down on the corner, we talk till night come, and a man go pick some aki and re te 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 te. Then my next day is to try to do that. My next day is to get a special money, to get a, 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 a one spliff, to get a re that is what I am going to think that I am supposed to do. Yes. Now, when youth and youth come out of the garrison, when you turn you come out of the garrison and see a big picture and see a big thing outside of the garrison and be like, what is going on here? Like, what is this? But me never know this. Or me never know said, what is this? You know what I mean? It's hard for them to have the same mentality and, and state of mind when they go back home in the garrison. So you see, sometimes it's because a lot of the youths them don't see outside Yes. And where they come from. So a man can come to a little youth and be like, yo, remember your uncle usually hold the gun and go and go hold the gun and too. And him go say, my uncle used to do it too, you know. And my uncle lived till him at this. I go try to do it too. Because him don't come out, fissy war go on. And she said the world big. Like, some things in the world where don't feel like your life is just about this one place here, so where you live. There's so much more in life. I say the sooner the youths them from the ghetto can see that, not everybody going to be fortunate enough to for see it or to leave them community. You yes. have enough people who never drive out of Kingston go a country yet. You have enough people yeah. from country never drive come to Kingston yet in them life. Yeah. In them whole entire life. So them just used to. What them used to. What them used to. Mm -hmm. If you get somebody that lives on a farm or live in the rural areas or whatever the case, and you bring them in a city where there's a city light or whatever the case, it's going to take them such a time to adapt to yes. that. But trust me, when they do get adapt, certain things that they used to grow up on and live with, which in that area they come from, mm -hmm. they're not what I swear to you, the mentality is not like you don't switch in the blood. No. And people get this, don't get this the wrong way. You're not switching, it's not right. switch. It's, no. just, it's just something different that you see. That for the show you say, life doesn't stop here. And it doesn't just stop at that man's foot. Everybody have life. And no matter who you be or where you come from, once you have two hands and two foot, you can be something in life doing the right thing. You don't have to do nothing negative. You don't have to do nothing bad. Just work and keep your focus and dreams alive. Work and understand there's a bigger picture outsider. And don't just use inner city, a community for black you from what you can become. And don't use that as an excuse. Stop use that as an excuse for not being perfect in life. Because we tend to do that a lot. I mean, you them out there, Wise up. Yeah. That's it. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, hard for that, man. I like that. Come with that way. You look like you're a road model or anything mm, that. No, it, but. It's like you're fair. Sometimes. You see me? If you live, if you, if you, if you, yeah. you see me? But it's like, I mean, people don't need anybody. Like, you don't need my story to know that you have to be great for yourself. You don't need my story. To, to, to make you push yourself to be great. You don't need somebody else's story to know or to give you the strength to get up and go get something that you want for yourself. You don't need nobody's story but yours. What drives you? Because guess what? If you even listen to my story or whatever the case and become great, when they are anybody else going to interview they, they're going to ask you what is your story right right you understand what i mean yes you understand what i mean so everybody's story is valid everybody's story is precious just use your story to dwell in greatness that's it you get me it is as simple as that
not only do I get you, that is a Isn't whole <laughs> entire yeah, yeah. word. Yeah, Ding? It's as simple as that. No, man. Isn't Thank it? you so much. Yes, no Thank problem. you Thanks so much. 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 You know, so you're my dupes. Long yeah. time. Appreciate yes, you. Man. Always yes, proud of you. All right. Thanks. You better continue doing that world thing. <laughs> You better continue going global. <laughs> Can we watch? Yes. And we are guess you. Yes. And we are say yeah. Yes. So my friend. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mad. Mad. Yes, man. Thank Respect, you so man. much. Oh, nice man. Odyssey with Yendi Untold Journeys was brought to you in partnership with Sagicor and Mastercard. Grab yourself some Appleton and tap into a new world of flavor. Have a snack for this episode? Well, grab your Sun Mix and taste the good life.